here that I've owned most of her life, and I know for a fact that that old mare has never pulled on anything. But I also know if I tied that old mare out behind the barn and she fell asleep and some kid on a bicycle or some dog comes sailing around the corner and startled her, if she jumped back and hit the end of a lead rope, she's liable to tear half the barn down or break something or hurt herself, and we could create a problem right there that could last her the rest of her life. Well, think about this. If we'd have had her hooked up to this tie ring instead of being tied solid, this tie ring would do exactly the same thing that you and I would have done if we'd have been standing there holding her. If you'd have been standing there holding that mare and she got startled and jumped back, you wouldn't try to hold her, wouldn't think. You wouldn't throw the lead rope up in the air and let her go either. What you'd do, you'd pick up a little pressure I call support, and you'd go with her. And you'd support her through this little mini crisis she's got going on here. After all, she just got startled. She's going to figure out in a stride or two that it wasn't a life-threatening situation. It was just a kid or a dog. And as soon as she quits pulling, we'll release our pressure. Well, that's exactly what this tie ring will do. It would give that, no matter what setting we've got this on, if that mare got startled, it would give her an opportunity to jump back, jerk some slack through that thing, hopefully figure out it wasn't a life-threatening situation. And as soon as she quit pulling, this tie ring will quit pulling on her. Now I know that different people take different positions on tying horses. Some people say they've either got a tie or else. I even had a fellow say to me not too long ago, you know when I tie that son of a gun up, he may not be there when I get back, but his head will. I guess that's okay if that's the way you think. It's not particularly the way I think. I have found out that my horse is a little more used to me if he's all in one piece. I even had a fellow out in California not too long ago that said to me, he said, you know what, when my trainer so-and-so teaches a horse to tie, he won't pull on anything. I said, oh really, so are you telling me if I had one of so-and-so's horses and I tied him up in my barn and went up to the house for a cup of coffee and a fire broke out, he wouldn't try to get loose? Well, now that's different. What do you mean different? A moment ago he wouldn't pull on anything. I mean, I'll tell you what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with survival instincts. It's a fire today and a piss ant tomorrow. You can't breed it out of them and you can't train it out of them. When this horse feels like his very life is threatened, he's going to forget everything so-and-so ever taught him and listen to a higher source.